guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be working with some more Future Pack, just a little bit, and then we're going to be hopping in and making ourselves a quarry. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright guys, so when we left off, I was doing a ton of research for Future Craft. And in between episodes, I have really cracked down on my research and kind of got some things going, as you can see. Man, I just got a tower. I'm just running my power up to all these machines up here because these all require uh, power. So what I ended up getting, here's a neon furnace, and I do believe that I can cook things in that. Uh, it doesn't matter what the recipes are. They just all work in there. Um, and then an Omni workbench is something that I've, I've, I haven't got to use yet, but I've had to research a bunch about it. Um, and then I've got basically all these machines researched to the point to where I can finally now go into my quests and make this thing. Also, the magnet, I actually found that inside a uh, chest in the uh, little dungeon thing that we were, we're going to go through again today. Um, but we're actually going to be able to, to find things because uh, before uh, we couldn't really go, go very far because we couldn't break things or anything like that. So um, here's the support research. This is what we're going to be working on today. Um, we've almost got the main section, at least what uh, Cubus wants us to do, or at least what our limits are i guess you could say because then it goes into here to rocket science which i really don't know what that's going to entail with this um because i really want to move on to astral sorcery because i really love astral sorcery and i kind of want to check out what it has in store but um we need to make this guy and we can make it any color of course we're going to make it the uh the kind of gray color because it's just easy that's an easy material for us to make because it just sits over there um so i, ha I have everything in my inventory now uh, to make this thing. So we're going to make the, uh, the research support. Um, so here we go. Research support. I think it's this gray one right here. And bam, we can make it. Man, this took a lot of time, by the way, to get this thing. Um, and we finally have gotten this thing. Um, okay. So, oh, it opens up. So we have rocket science. So telescope from future pack is something that it's going to have us make. Finally, I can make a simple rocket that leads me to one single new planet. Let me explore it. Hopefully I can find a way to fly to any planet soon. Cool. Okay, so yeah, D dimension uh, Minulus is a Minulus dimension. So that's a new one, telescope. And I guess it's referring to us getting into rocketry, which is uh, right here, travel to space or space travel. Um, it looks like you're going to have to do a lot more research before we can even get started with that. We really don't have too much going for us here. Um, but when it comes to the basics, I've really ran through most of this stuff. And finally, I got the artificial intelligence, got to here, and then I was able to make this thing. Um, after researching circuits, um, researching logistics, uh, researching all of the space travel stuff, which was blocking me from a lot of things. Um, and I never even touched tools, so... Um, that's something that we could always work on. The hologram controller sounded pretty or sound pretty cool. It allows you to basically swap what the blocks look like um, to save a structure and shift right click to change the appearance. So I thought that was kind of a cool tool to maybe look into later. And there's a whole bunch of other things going on that I don't know anything about. Um, so I have been following what everybody said. They said if you see something flashing, so say this guy's flashing. That means we need to follow the line back and research this item till we discover this. And that's just how you do it. So, um, same with all this other stuff. I mean, that's just what you have to do. What took the longest was for me to just get this redstone flash drive. Um, because you, at some points you do stop and there's nothing really flashing. So I had to go back and research this energy guy right here and finally was able to get that going. Um, which is kind of nice. I just, I don't understand what the, what the telescope T L. This is going to be something that you probably have to research quite a ways for, even though it's such a simple item to make, it's probably got a long research tree. Now I do want to say this support. If you see here, here is the SP for support on these machines. Some machines have them. Some machines don't. I think it opens up on these new tabs that requires support for the research. I don't remember, but I know this does some kind of support thing and I don't exactly know what it actually does, but I know it's there and same for this one. 
As you can see, it does have the 10,024 support. This one's 100, so I don't I don't exactly know too much about what this does, but uh, we can place it down. And yeah, I just don't don't know yet. All right, so this is wanting me to make a dual board. I think it is, because um, we're gonna be trying to make this guy that I think I skipped over. Um, so right here we have the calculation module, which I did not attach yet. And it tells me I need to attach this. I can have up to two on my researcher. So I'm gonna have to change the way this looks and put the researcher in the middle, uh, which won't take too long. We can just pop this guy off. And what we'll do, we'll get the researcher placed here. Um, and we could run the cabling a little bit different here in a little bit. But for right now, this guy can go like that. I can actually run this cabling behind the wall. It's not a big deal. Um, the assembly table, you can also, you can actually go right here for right now. Because I will need that. Okay, and we should be able to put the research module here. This other module here. And we're gonna need to connect the cabling to that if I can. Where did I put the neon pipes? There it is. Um, am I missing a neon pipe? I feel like I am. Maybe not. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to get that going. And then uh, I'm working on making that module. So let's go ahead and get the dual band going. I am gonna need some of the copper coils. And we're gonna get a dual machine board. And so I have a RAM at five, which is pretty high. Um, and that does matter. It says it does matter. So you have core. I found the ones that were four. And then the chip uh, is the 1.8. So it's actually a pretty decent dual board machine, um, which is going to be pretty helpful when we actually go to make the calculation module. So I do need some cables, which I'm pretty sure I have my cables laying around in here somewhere. Right there. Two cables. Perfect. And that will lead us into using this thing. Okay, so we also need an extended cooler, which I'm pretty sure I made one of those. You can also find them in the dungeon things. Uh, the underground underground areas. Um, let's see. Just going to take this aluminum and then our casing is the only thing we need. Aluminum in another case. I think I have aluminum on me. I do. So that should be everything we need to make this thing. And there we go. Calculation. Um, I don't know if this thing requires power, but I don't know. It's supposed to be connected here. Um, what I can do is make some more neon pipes. I don't think it's too expensive for these things. No, it's not. Um, I'm going to need some glass. and aluminum, which we have some. So we'll grab some more of those. And there we go. That's plenty for now. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually run it through the wall. I think it'll just be a little bit easier back here to run our power. And I don't know what all needs power, but we're going to get it. There we go. That should be good. And then we can actually put this back where we had it. That can be moved. And there we go. So now power should be flooding into everything and we can actually move our stuff around. Okay. So I have two of those and I should be able to put two of these guys on the researcher, but for right now, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not bothering me too much. All right. And then I thought we had a machine right here, but I guess not. But yeah. Things are looking okay. Things are actually looking pretty good. Um, the Omni bench, bench, I think we can actually move this. There. 
So yeah, we just have a few things going. I think I, I think I'm getting how this is working. I don't honestly know. I'm kind of winging it. Uh, I do know how the research works. It's just taking time to actually research it. Um, I know I should be able to take this now and actually research it. Looks like half of it's already researched because we researched another machine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. All right, so we managed to find, I guess, the last piece to this. Um, and we should be able to throw it in here. And we need a scrinch and an iron axe. How weird. Iron axe. Okay, and the scrinch, I think I have the materials on me. To make those, there we go. Pop that in here. And it looks like it's just going to take a long time. Which is kind of what I wanted to fix. But I just don't know if it's fixable. Like if, if I don't know. Does this make it go faster? It's another thing I wanted to know. Does having that affect anything? It looks like this goes pretty fast. But it definitely doesn't seem to be affecting this that much. I don't know. You know, you can't, I can't tell. But yeah, this is definitely our research. And uh, this is supposed to unlock the recycler. I don't know if you've seen this. But this is like used in, you see it like in every single recipe. Like when you search for something, the recycler is there. That's because it can produce tons of stuff. Like, there's so much stuff that this thing can produce. It's kind of un unreal. So compost from uh, this mod. You can get from all these different things. You can turn uh, your sandstone back into sand. Um, and it looks like you need a shredder. Which I'm sure is something that you'll have to research. It's just a bunch of research. It's a whole research li uh, rabbit hole that you got to go through with this. And as you can see, it is now finished. So we ended up finding, oh, we, we did research the shredder and the recycler and the recycling. So all of that got researched. Okay, and as you can see, here's recycling. My work produces large amounts of waste, and it would be handy to recycle it. Um, so I'm supposed to invent a machine that can repair or, uh, what is that, Dis disassemble uh, various blocks and items. Oh, disassemble, I don't know why I could pronounce that. Um... But yeah, that's uh, that's one of the, the things we actually missed whenever we made the calculation guy here. But I, I think it's helping. I have no idea. Um, I should honestly read, but there's just so much to read. Every single tab has its own like long list of things to read. It's I mean, this is just yeah. Every single tab has some information. Can't believe the person that made this mod is unbelievable. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think the next thing we can probably do is. Let's just go see what we can find inside uh, one of those underground bases. I mean, I think that that sounds like the like logical thing to, for us to do is to just go see what's underground. I don't know. How, what about you guys? All right, guys. So real quick, I actually figured out how to get the support points after just fiddling around with everything. So the neon furnace that I was talking about that cooks things, well, you get support points for those cooked items. Um, I don't exactly know how to transfer over the support, po the support points to this. Um, I don't know if there's a pipe. Is there a support point pipe? There is a support pipe. I just haven't researched it yet, I guess. Or have, haven't found the research, but I, I would think that it would automatically transfer the points over, but it doesn't look like it is. Maybe if I do this, because I'm at a recipe right now that requires support points and it only requires 10 of them. Okay, and it's not sending them over. So yeah, that's the thing, but this is using neon energy to cook things and you get support points every time an item is cooked. And I don't know if different, different items give you more points or not, but Unfortunately, it's not transferring over, and I'm, I think it has something to do with the fact that these pipes are not researched. And that would be under logistics. 
and it might carry along and have to do with the item pusher. I don't know. It's something to do with one of these. It's actually part of the normal pipe, I do believe. So if I take my normal pipe, let's take this out of here. We can, of course, get rid of that. It still says the normal pipe. It can't scan anything. So, yeah, this is something I'll just have to figure out. All right, so I think I figured it out. So all I need to do is make another one of these flash drives. And this, the flash drives is what stores the, uh, the support power, even though I didn't, you know, nothing says anything about that. Um, but that, that is the way to go, is this way. So it doesn't really show it right here, but when you click on it, it does show up. I don't I don't know why it does that. I've had to make a couple of these so far. Um, but what, what I have up here is I have the engine up here, um, and it has 41 stored in it. So if I throw this here, it's going to start storing that uh, energy. And then what we can do is throw it in here. And now I do have a, uh, a setup right here just waiting for support. Um, it, I think this one needs 10 support is all it needs, something like that. Um, but as you can see, it's it's pulling it out of here. And we need to get stuff like uh, cobblestone, maybe. Will this will this work with cobblestone? Yes. So we'll just keep throwing cobblestone in here for right now until this builds up. Um, but yeah, and then you throw it in here, and that should, or is it? It's the bottom. Okay, there we go. And then it worked. Oh. Wow, that was quick. It, uh, as soon as it emptied in there, it went immediately. Okay. I think this has a buffer in it for this stuff, so just keep that in mind that this will be charging this as you go. But yeah, it isn't isn't the fastest thing in the world. I think this is out of coal. Oh, we have so much coal, by the way. But yeah, this is going to keep charging um, and keep running and as long as you have that going. Um, I did do some research stuff on the side, but uh, that is definitely one of the things that happened. So, um, whenever we unlock this, which is actually, even though it doesn't show it, I know what it is. Um, it's a support pipe that actually lets you transport support um, from machine to machine. Um, but you'll unlock that later. But for right now, we're just stuck using the uh, the flash drive here, which is is okay. It's not a big deal. Um, but that's the only way we're going to be able to complete the support stuff. So I just want to let you guys know that before we head back to the uh, the lovely um, dungeon thing. So let's go ahead and head back there. Let's go to our Misty Moon. And uh, kind of get some things going. And let's just uh, kind of explore a little bit. Um, I know you guys are probably getting tired of Future Pack. I know I put, I put like three episodes into this now. Um... But this is a big part of the pack, is Future Pack, because I'm pretty sure it's, it's going to be your space travel early on. And I was looking at this. Let me actually get my uh, meat guy here. This will keep me healed up so I don't die. Um, there's got to be a way I can jump this. Oh, good. And then this should be an easy jump. And then this should be a decent jump. Oh, gosh. Yeah. No, no. Okay, let me jump up there. Oh, no. Come on. It, like, knocked me off. Um, oh, look at all this cool stuff we can get. So that's what I'm looking for, is all this. Oh, we got a screen, a monitor, and all that stuff. Oh, man. This is painful. There we go. So we got that done. We can take that off of our list. I think we can even break those wardrobes, and we can break this stuff now. Um, a lot of this stuff actually opened up for us. Um, let me go... Let's see, there's an elevator here. We can take a look at this area. Okay, so there's another elevator there. There's some more machine stuff. Dead end. Man, we can go look down here. Uh, like I said, now we can break actually break these crystals. At least I thought I could. Maybe not. I thought last time I was here, I was able to break them. Anyways, we should be able to go up here. Let's see. And what is this? These are industrial furnaces just sitting here. Ooh, there's slime blocks. Yeah, I definitely want to take the stuff out of most of these machines. 
And then we can go up here. Kind of like a little parkour setup thing they got going on. That's what it looks like to me. There's something blocking me up there. Yeah, definitely something blocking. There we go. Huh. And here we got uh, some energies. Look at all these batteries. Whole bunch of batteries. Whole bunch of just random stuff, guys. Diamonds, everything in here. Stuff that we may need later on. I don't know. We'll just store it in our tablet. Yeah, let's just store it in here. I was also going to take a look at my tablet. My battery got moved to my tablet for some reason. Um, it's actually charging my stuff. These lamps. Are we not able to break the lamps? Strange. Thought we were able to break this stuff. Alright, so... This is another one of those areas. Is it set up the same way? Looks like it is. Nice. So some more of those research modules. Energy. Ooh, what is that? Neon liquid bucket. Got some chips. Man, there's a whole bunch of good stuff in here. Yeah, I'll take I'll take all this stuff. I don't know why I can't shift click on the log logic chips. Yeah. Strange, I thought I was able to break this stuff. Um, was that the only room? There's some more coolers. Hmm, strange. Alright, so we have this done. I always want to check and see what's in these. You never know. There could be something nice. And let's see, what's up, what's down here? Okay, just more junk. Um, and yeah, that was the dead end. Let's try going back down. And see what maybe other stuff we possibly can find. Maybe go up the stairwell. There's a, that's a dead end down there. This is that hallway. The only way we can go is up. I've already been over there. I've already gotten the stuff out of that. Okay, there's this room where whenever I walked up here, it actually set off an alarm and some mobs started spawning, which kind of caught me off guard. And yeah, I can't break that, but these doors opened up. These are airlock doors. And I get a warning when I'm up here. You know, there's some more good stuff over here. Of course. Yeah, let's get out of the lava. Or avoid it the best we can. Ow. We'll just hope for some good stuff. That's all I'm wanting. The logic chips and stuff are actually pretty decent. Yeah, my parkour skills are horrible. Yeah, it's this area. These things actually go off. It tells you you have 30 seconds to leave this area. So I'm going to take all of this stuff out of here as best I can. Because I can't... Those things will shoot at me. So I don't even, I don't even know what to do there. Um, but yeah, it does tell me, warning, you're in a restricted area. And then it tells me I have 30 seconds to leave. And I'll, I'll show you here in a minute what it actually does. It will try, it will try to kill me. Let me go up here. They can't get me up here. I don't really think there's much up here though. Yeah, there's not much. But man, you don't realize how big these buildings are until you're in them. These things are quite huge. Is the timer went up yet? Yeah, yep, yep, ow. Don't kill me. Yeah, you see how fast that was? And look how fast my regen is. Oh man. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting through that. I don't I think that's some kind of research 
We did gather this. Oh, dungeon key research. Energy cell, TCT core. Oh, okay. So yeah, we just found it in that chest. So that's the key, guys. That's what we need to get past this room. Um, For what reason? I have no idea. I don't know what's over there. But I'm sure it's it's got to be something nice. Otherwise, we wouldn't have to have a key for it. So yeah, I was looking at the stuff required to make this thing. I think we're close to making the energy cell. Um, the support chipset, I don't think we can make yet. And the TCT core, we can't make yet either. Um, because it does require this specific metal. And I haven't found any of this stuff yet. So, yeah, I have no clue how to get this stuff. But I'm sure we'll have to find it eventually. Just I just don't know yet. All right, guys. So I hope you're ready for this because what we're going to do um, is we're going to try and quarry out a little spot of this planet. Now, I did look in the quest book and it says, I wonder if this moon finally has some useful ores after all. The previous planets uh, were barren. I found some red ore that is resonating. I wonder if I can use this resonating energy to generate more power for my power needs. Now, the resonating ore, hopefully we can find it here, but I did look it up in JEI. It doesn't show that this planet is even listed or what level it is. So I figured the best way, um, after doing a little bit of mining over there by myself, um, and finding out that the bottom level of this is actually that really hard, foggy uh, material, ha uh, hard and foggy stuff is what it's called. Um, See, so yeah, after doing that, I was like, no, nah, I think I'm going to just mine out an area. Uh, but the problem is I don't want to do it in sand. I think I want to do it in a place where there's mostly stone and the different types of stone. Um, so a place like over here would be perfectly fine. Um, like this right here. I think this, this would make a pretty good sized area to do a quarry. And so all I have to do is take our builder and I want to kind of line it up with this path right here. I'm just going to place it down so it's nice and, and ready to go. Um, we're going to take our power cell, and this is going to feed it some power. Should fill that guy with power real fast. And I'll take my shape card, shift click my um, my builder with the shape card. I'm going to go find the uh, corner that I want to, this thing to start in. Um, I think I'll do it over here somewhere. I think this is fine. And then I'll end it over here in front of the builder. Right here. So there's the other end corner. Um, and then we take a look here. It is flat. Um, and we need to see our Y level. So our Y level is 64. So this will change our Y level. And actually increase it. So I'm going to do 64 in size. Okay. And then I'm going to half that. Um, so we'll do half of 64. And we'll do 32 on here. Negative 32 on the offset and that should bring it down and when we look at it we do the support view we'll see that if we actually bring this up and do like negative 35 I think we could see now that it is actually starting on this level how cool is that um, and it actually goes all the way down so we don't have to worry about it being a higher or anything like that so that's perfect. So that's ready to go. Um, all we gotta do is put an inventory on top so it can uh, export to and uh, give this thing a, a lever. Um, actually, what I wanna do with the shape card here, um, I wanna ore dict, I wanna void out uh, stone, dirt, sand, gravel, um, netherrack, everything else, ore dictionary, that stuff. And we should be good. And then we'll just let this thing go. And see what we gather. Um, of course, it's going to, like I said, void out all the stone and stuff. So we shouldn't see stone. We shouldn't see sand. We should literally only see uh, the small amount of items that this world provides. And uh, like marble. Marble's, are, of course, a wonderful thing to gather. So yeah, I'm going to just let this thing do its thing and let it run for a little bit. As you can see, it's at level 34, level 33, level 32. It does, I think, one chunk at a time, and then moves on to the next chunk. Um, not enough power. Okay, so yeah, this thing's only going to give it—it's uh, only going to give it five thousand RF per tick. 
um, as you see it right here. Um, that's just because I only have one power cell running to it. And I mean, I could, let's see, do I have leadstone? I mean, the leadstones, I think they only do a thousand RF per tick. Yeah, they only do a thousand. So maybe I could give it a thousand more if I really wanted to. So there's a thousand. The problem is this chunk right here, I do believe, gets taken up. So they gave it 2,000 more power. Still not enough to keep it running, uh, which is funny, even though it does run incredibly fast at the power rate it's going. So it should still be running fairly smooth. But yeah, we'll check back. Oh, there's the hard foggy. So yeah, I don't know if it takes forever to mine this stuff. It does look like it, it struggles a little bit to mine it. So that might become an issue, but you know what? We'll just let it run and do its thing. Um, I don't think this has to be chunk loaded, but I'm going to do it just in case. Make a chunk load. Man, that map looks awesome. Same with this map. This map of this world looks really cool. Just because this, this world looks so crazy with all the different biomes and, and everything. But uh, yeah, this is kind of giving me a break from, you know, playing around with Future Pack. It just, it's kind of getting, getting old after I've been doing it for quite a while now. So um, I'm going to give it a little bit of break. Um, and I, I think what we're going to do next episode, because uh, a lot of this other research that I'm doing just takes a lot of time. I think what we're going to do next episode is get the thing set up for jumping into Astral Sorcery. Um, because I believe that we're going to need to get that done as soon as possible. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.